boys and girls, welcome to Storytime. I'm Miss Rachel from the Bedford Hills Free Library. And I'm Bovina. Hi, Bovina. Hi, Miss Rachel. Shall we sing the hello song? Mm-hmm. It's nice to say hello, holo, hello, hola, hello, moo. It's nice to say hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, me too. We're fine, and how are you? I'm fine. Me too. We're fine, and how are you? How are you guys? I hope everyone's doing well. Are you ready to do our other hello song? <clears throat> Excuse me, you go here. This is the one where we clap, and then we'll tap. We'll do all kinds of things to wake us up. Ready? Let's sing. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Let's clap our hands like this. And now can we do it double time? Clap, 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 clap. And how about our shoulders? Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Let's tap our shoulders like this. And now double time. Meaning fast, 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 fast. And now let's keep working our way up. Ooh. Can we stretch? Stretch to the ceiling. Ooh. Good morning everybody, good morning everybody, good morning everybody. Let's straight, stretch straight up like this, woo, way up to the ceiling. And speaking of going way up high, can you jump? I won't jump or else I'll go right out of the, the frame, but Bovina will jump for me, won't you? Mm-hmm. And you guys can really jump too, ready? Good morning everybody, good morning everybody, good morning everybody. Jump up and down like this. A boing, a boing, a boing, a boing. Double time! Jump, 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 fast, woo! And good morning everybody, good morning everybody, good morning everybody, let's sit. And listen like this. We got quiet. So I can tell that you're paying attention. So you can take in our first book. And the one book that we'll share today. It's called Some Bugs. Bugs are insects. That's what we're thinking about today. And this is a really neat book that doesn't so much tell a story. But introduces us to lots of different kinds of bugs. With really fun illustrations. So Some Bugs. Uh, with Written by Angela D. Terlizzi and illustrated by Brendan Wenzel. <clears throat> some bugs. Hmm? Here it again says some bugs and it looks like we're being uh, guided out of the house by Mr. Kitty Cat. Meow. And he's taking us out the front walkway into the outside area of the house and it says, oh, <laughs> There he goes, that cat. You can just see his tail leaving the page. And it says, some bugs sting. I think they're talking about this guy, the scorpion. We can see him through this broken flower pot. Some bugs sting. And some bugs bite. And some bugs stink. There's a stink bug. And some bugs bite. Wow, look at these giant beetles. And they look like they're... They're engaged with each other in some way. I guess they're fighting, yeah. <laughs> it looks like they're up on a branch or something. They probably each want to be the one to get that spot. And all the other little bugs are watching. Wow, I can't believe, compared to how small that one, this is a giant beetle. Did you guys notice that it was uh, rhyming when we were talking about the bugs? Some bugs sting, and some bugs bite, and some bu bugs stick, and some bugs bite. So I think each few each few sets of bugs I think will make rhyming pairs. Let's see. Some bugs flutter, butterfly, and some bugs crawl. Hey, that's neat. This is actually the caterpillar that turns into a monarch butterfly. So the illustrator probably did that on purpose. Some bugs flutter and some bugs crawl. And some bugs curl up into a ball. Oh, have you ever seen these little guys? Some people call them pill bugs or potato bugs, and they're these little guys, and if you poke them or startle them, like maybe if a big raccoon comes along and surprises them, they doop, and they curl up and they look like a perfect little ball. Boop, you see all these guys? Here's one that's starting to come 
out of a, a, a little tight ball so you can see. I'll just hold that up for a second so you can see. I really like looking at those. Sometimes people call them roly polies too. <laughs> I like this close up picture of a rac raccoon. Some bugs hop and some bugs glide. That means they kind of go very smoothly. And some bugs swim and some bugs hide. This page is so cool. This is showing us lots of different kinds of um, insects that um, go camouflage. Do you know that word? It means to blend in with the background so it kind of hides so that other things can't notice them. Maybe because they don't want to get eaten so they're trying to blend in so people won't find them or other animals or other bugs or birds. So I'm going to hold this up for a little bit for you to see if you can spot some insects that are hiding. So maybe they look like things that are near them, same colors or shapes. Do you see any? I really like this guy. It looks like maybe it's just one of the twigs, but if you look closely, he's got legs and eyes and antenna. That's actually an insect right here. And here's one giant one. This is called a praying mantis. Did you think maybe this was a leaf? But really, it's a big insect. Do you see his eyeballs? I love that guy. That is so cool. And other ones blend in with the leaves or the bark. It's so clever. Insects are amazing. Some bugs click and some bugs sing. And some bugs do a buzzing thing. Everybody knows a bumblebee. Bzzz. Oh, hey, look what I just noticed, guys. That's the same kitty cat from speaking of camouflage or hiding amongst the flowers. I'll move my hands. Do you see the kitty cat? I think he's the same guy from the beginning. Has he been on every page? No. I guess not. No. Sometimes books do that where you, you can notice every, you know, one same thing on every page, but... I think we just saw him in the beginning and now here he's back. Some bugs build and some bugs make. So here are some wasps making a wasp nest and here's a spider making a spider, a spider web. Some bugs build and some bugs make and some bugs hunt. So we go looking for food. And some bugs take. Here's another illustration I really like. Do you see what's happening? It's a picnic, right? But who came to the picnic? Lots and lots and lots and lots of ants. And I really like the way it shows the ants working together to lift things that are so big, so much bigger than them. But if they work together, they can do it, like carry a whole strawberry. And how they're taking, or a whole slice of watermelon, a Cheeto, a Dorito chip. Anyway, and you can see them carrying it, and this kind of shows a view to them living underground how they make these little tunnels and they've already got some things down there like that orange slice. I really like this picture. I don't think I would be happy if that were my picnic, but I'm enjoying the illustration. Okay, so here's a, a review of everybody. Stinging, biting, stinking, fighting, hopping, gliding, swimming, hiding, building, making, hunting, taking. Bugs are oh so fascinating. <laughs> Fascinating is like, um, it means super, super interesting, really, really cool. And I will have to agree. And I think I'm going to read this page again because it's fun to say all those words kind of fast and together. They, they kind of make like a poem almost. So let me try that again. I'm going to take a big breath, try to get it all in there without tripping up on it. Stinging, biting, stinking, fighting, hopping, gliding, swimming, hiding, building, making, hunting, taking, bugs are also fascinating. Whew, we did it. Here they are. So kneel down close and look very hard. There's kitty cat again. And here's his human. He's holding up a, do you know what that's called? A magnifying glass. When you look through that, you can see small things appear to be bigger so you get a good, a better look at them. And lots of insects are very small, so a magnifying glass is a good idea. So kneel down close and look very hard. 
and find some bugs in your backyard. <coughs> so I'm holding up this picture. I'm, I'm wondering if you guys notice anything. It's a view of a house and the whole yard behind the house. And what I think I noticed is that, you know, closer, that all those pages that we were seeing with close up zooming in on the bugs were actually areas in this yard. Like, do you remember we started on the very first page with that scorpion in a upside down broken flower pot? There that is. And do you remember there was a page where we were talking about bugs that glide and swim? Let's see if I can find that. Up here. By like a pond or a puddle or something. Oh, well, here it is. This is that area. And um, let's see what else. Do you remember when we found the, the kitty cat? We noticed him in with the flowers. This must be that flower bed. Oh, and of course the picnic. So all of that was taking place, zoom, you know, zooming in on all these spots. And so probably you have lots of places in your yard, just like this one, where if you look really close, you can find lots and lots of insects. And the last thing that I wanted to show you about this book is on the last page. We can see all the bugs again and, and actually find out what their names are. So like, remember that giant beetle from the, like, the second page? It's called a Hercules beetle. That's a, that's a good name. Hercules is a famous character from mythology who's known for being so strong. So that makes sense for a big strong beetle. Here's that praying mantis, a scorpion, and all the other little things we saw. So this is a really interesting book to really sit with and look at all the details. So you can check that out from the Bedford Hills Free Library after I return it. And uh, we're going to end with a song today. We, we just read about lots of different bugs, and now we're going to dance about lots of different bugs. Um, do you have some kind of shaker that you can grab for our song? It will help give a little beat while we're dancing, like a little egg shaker, or you can make something. I just took a little container here and put hands in it, but it's kind of a nice shaky noise, a deeper noise. Anyway, you want to go grab something like that? I will freeze so you don't miss anything. I'll freeze. You pause the camera. Okay, you got something? All right, this is gonna be moving like lots of different bugs. And there's a, another way to say the word dancing. There's another word for that, and that's boogie. Have you ever heard that word boogie? So I thought we could call this dance, or this song, the bug boogie, the bug dance. So we have your shaker and we'll sing. Can you wiggle like a worm? Can you squiggle? Can you squirm? Can you flutter? Can you fly like a gentle butterfly? Can you crawl on the ground like a beetle in the round? Do the buzz boogie. Can you flip? Can you flop? Can you give a little hop? Can you slither like a snake? Can you slither like a snake? Can you give a little shake? Can you dance like a bee buzzing round a big old tree and do the bug boogie? Yay! Let's do it one more time. I'm not going to really get up and dance because I want you to be able to see me in the screen. But now that you know kind of how it goes, maybe you want to get up and really boogie and really move all the different ways that we're singing, like wiggle and squirm and flutter and all the different motions, okay? Can you wiggle like a worm? Can you squiggle? Can you squirm? Can you flutter? Can you fly like a gentle butterfly? Can you crawl on the ground like a beetle in the round and do the bug boogie? Can you flip? Can you flop? Can you give a little hop? Can you slip it like a snake? Can you give a little shake? Can you dance like a bee buzzing round a big old tree and do the bug boogie? Do the bug boogie? Do the bug boogie? Bum bum. Yeah.